Hi friends, we will learn how to copy data from a pandas data frame to a clipboard. So once it is gone to clipboard, we can paste it in excel file or notepad or anywhere else. Now the copying data can be from a mysql table or excel page or from a csv file. We will see, let us start with a dictionary first. Using this dictionary, we will create one data frame equal to pd now data frame now inside this data will say take it from the dictionary my dict is the dictionary you are declared at the top now this is fine let's just check once how our uh, data frame is yeah data frame is fine now this data frame will say um, to sorry to clipboard now what this command will do it will copy the data to the our clipboard which we can paste it to a any other source so let's run this and see yeah so it is copied now let's take it to a excel and this is a blank excel i am just pasting it here it is available i have just pressed control v so i pasted it here now similarly i can paste it in a notepad also i have just kept it here and control v so it is pasted now it see it's a by default the separation is a tab one tab space is used now we'll explore various options of it one important option is excel excel equal to false by default it is true so you can paste it on excel now what happens if i make the excel as false so in this case if i'll go to excel again paste it it will not be pasted like a see it, it is all are written in one cell only it is you can see there is if I'll move to an other column the data is not there they are all pasted in one cell so that is that is why I have to by default this Excel or I will just try once to get the difference you can come here Excel equal to true by default it is true only let's run this and now go here paste it here now you can see this is all the data is pasted in a Excel nicely so it every cell has taken its data so this is one excel now by default it is uh, true so we no need to mention it now another option is separator separator by default it is a tab we can say let's uh, put it a comma here so what happens without this let's first check it without this i removed this now run it again now this time you can see i'll paste it in a notepad you can see this is a tab is separated the gap between this is one tab between each data cell so now let's uh, i will just delete this now come back here now i will say separator is equal to comma so now run this now come here paste it you can see the comma c this is how you can separate the data with different delimiters you can put something else also now this is the easy way to create a comma separated values or csv file so you can see the gap in between the cells there is a comma is there so let's go back there are more options are there these are very specific to this particular to clipboard other options are index equal to false so you must have observed that there is a leftmost column one we have added with the index that we can suppress it let's come back to our tab also fine index is false let's run this now let us go back delete this again notepad i am pressing it i will i will not get the index so leftmost column is whatever the data frame there is no extra index column at the left so let's go back now i can specify the columns also say columns i don't want all the columns i will say i want only the name and id so that also is possible i can specify whatever i want let me run this data is copied to the clipboard come here I will delete this and paste it here now I have only name and ID column is there so that is how there are uh, similar options are there many other small options these are all the important options now we'll move to taking data from a database let's first connect to MySQL database by using SQL KME now here I have uh, given my user ID password and all the database name details you'll find many tutorials on this and in our site 
fine this is my connection is there connection is established now i'll first try the generate the sql so in this this is a variable only i'm writing select star star is means all the columns from my sample table is student but i don't want all the rows to come so i want only four or five so i'll say limit starting from zero let's say five columns you get it so that's all now i what i will do i'll create a data frame equal to pd now i'll say read sql now this read sql will execute the query so first parameter what i will give is sql then the second is my connection this my connection is there in here so this i am using so now my data frame is ready and i have taken five records now what i will do i will just copy it to clipboard that's all so if i run this now the five records will be taken from my uh, student table sample table uh, in mysql you can download the sql dump at the link is given at the description and this uh, five records are copied to the clipboard let's try now i have executed it fine now let me just go to the excel page let me delete this bring the cursor here paste it you can see five records are there now let's go little more or we will paste little more records so what i will do instead of five records i will make it 10 records so run it once fine now i'll come back here again paste it so now 10 records are pasted this is how i will take data from uh, a database and put it next we'll go how we'll read a excel data uh, or a csv file or excel file data and paste it to a notepad or a another excel file I have one Excel file in my D drive. So let me create a data frame PD dot. I am using read Excel because this is an Excel file and I am giving the path now. It is a D drive. Then my data is a directory name. Then that student dot XLX. Now this uh, XLX file is there in the uh, my data. So inside the my data directory of D drive. So this is the path I have given. Now next is simple creating the two clipboard. Now I am if I run this, it will read the data from the Excel file. The data frame will be created and it is will be copied to the clipboard. Let's try that. So it is uh, okay. It's copied. Now instead we can go to the Excel file, delete this, put the cursor here and paste it. Okay, that's a big record where that is more records are there. So I can copy this. Now similarly, let me just delete this. I'll keep it ready. Now let me just read a CSV file also. So I'll say read CSV. Now this this CSV file is in the same path, but same name also, but extension is CSV. So I I am using now read CSV and copying it to my clipboard. So I will run this. Fine, once again, let me run. Okay, now let me come here and paste it. This is my CSV file. I have only five records. So there is a index col column earlier. It was there. So one more is added. Now this is how I can read Excel or a from a CSV file or from MySQL database or from any other sources and create and copy the data to the clipboard.